Hey, hey everybody, Z Garcia here, and today we're going to be taking a look at another roll and write game. This time we're making bouquets of flower in Bloom. In this one, each player has their own sheet of paper in front of them. We're going to roll dice, and then you'll take one on your turn and circle in some flowers, create a bouquet of flowers in order to make your customers happy. And you want to complete the right things on your board and avoid unhappy customer points because those will cost you at the end of the game. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. It's a very simple design. We'll come on back after that. I'll tell you what I think of it. In the game, each player is going to get one of these sheets and they uh, have a few different ones, uh, which all are just different arrangements of the flowers. And then we're going to be using all six of these dice in the game in order to score the most victory points. And you're going to be rolling the dice, taking them, and then marking off flowers, making bouquets, in order to score victory points. The, this is broken down into many different colors, as well as these flower beds, these sections, that you're also trying to completely fill. So, everyone has one of these. I'll be using my pen here, and so each turn begins like this. Let's say I'm the start player. I'm going to roll all the dice there, and then I'm going to take one and utilize it. And then the next player will take one and utilize it, and so on around the table till everyone has taken one or two dice in a two-player game. Then the next player will be the start player, takes them all, rolls them, and we keep going until someone has marked three colors uh, in the this section up here. So you've completed three of the colors, meaning mark them all off, or you've completed four garden beds, four of these, and completed them in, you know? So, uh, all right, I'm going to go ahead and start, and I'm going to take, uh, let's say, this die here, and I'm going to make a bouquet with four of the purple flowers, such as right here. So I would do this, like so, and that's done. And then the next player would go, they might take that, and the next player, and the final player takes that. And then it's the next player's turn over here, they'll roll, they'll take one, and so on until it comes back around to me, in which there will be two left, and I'll take one of those two. I might take, um, uh, let's say this one, and I'm going to do this flower right here by itself. And then it's the next player's go, and so on. You'll have a few flowers in here that are white. They can be any color. So, for example, a four yellow would allow me to write in these four and counting this one as yellow. It could be any color I want it to be. And then the transparent dye, or the, uh, the white dye, if you want, is any color on here I want it to be. So if I take a four in that die it could be these four orange it could be these four blue whatever i want you have one re-roll in the game that you may use whenever you want to whenever it's your turn you're about to take dice you don't like the dice you can re-roll them one time if you don't use it you get a point at the end of the game and also you're going to score unhappy customer points if you do one of two things if you have to circle in flowers that are not the matching color uh you'll get one unhappy customer point for every flower that's wrong or if you circle in fewer than the die. So for example, much later on, this is mostly filled, and I take, uh, let's say, a four yellow, uh, and this, uh, these three are, are available, but not this one, and everything else is, you know, already enclosed. I could take the three yellow here and get one unhappy point right there. I would just put a little tick mark right there to let me know. So let's say later on in the game, I complete all of the purple ones. And so, you know, I've already got this, uh, I've already got these, and then when it's my turn, I roll, and I get a, uh, let's say, six in purple. I've got a six in purple, I wanna take that. I'm going to use these four purple, I'm gonna use that white one for a five, and then I also, um, I'm gonna also enclose that uh, pink one there. So I do that, and I do, my enclosure like so. I'm gonna take one unhappy point for the pink one, because I it's the wrong color, of course, but I've also completed all the purple ones. If I'm the first one to do so, I'm gonna get six victory points. And then let's say somebody else gets the yellow ones, I will not get the six points for the yellow ones, but I could still get the four points, or possibly the two points. And also, if I complete a flower bed, meaning the entirety of one of these, and this is not necessarily head-to-head, uh, so let's say I've completed all of this. I'm also going to get 
these points here, the three victory points. And the next flower bed I complete would be four and so on. But if I get the three, other people can get the three also. We're only competing head to head for the colors up here. And again, once someone completes all four beds or has marked off three of the colors, so let's say I got that one and I got that one, then the game is over and we figure out what our score is. So I would get two points here, four there would be six, another six would be 12. I completed, let's say, uh, two of the beds. So I've got 16, 17, 18, 19. I never used my reroll, so I've got 20. But then I'm losing five for the unhappy customers for a score of 15. That's basically how the game works. So let's go back up top. Let me tell you what I think of. All right, so there it is, Bloom, in one of these cool little magnetic clasp boxes that uh, Game Right uh, usually puts their rolling rights in, and, and, and some other games. So the packaging here is, is quite nice. However, overall, I really was not very impressed with this game. Uh, the main ding to it, and I'll come back to this later on, is that it simply feels uninspired and derivative at the end of the day. There are a lot of roll and write games out there, which is fine, it's a beloved genre, but this one just does not bring anything new to the table, truly whatsoever, in my opinion. So, uh, I'll start with the things I did like, since it's a negative review, and I'll end with what I really want to uh, talk about. The things I do like, the game length, it's a short filler, it, it fills the time frame it's designed for well, and then the ease of play. It's a very easy game to play. It's straightforward, no confusing rules. That all works uh, quite well. Uh, the theme is the one thing that I, I feel no strong feeling one way or the other. The flower thing works well enough. It's a cute theme. Colors make sense in it. Uh, it's bright. That works. Uh, no issues there. But then the things I did not like. Uh, aesthetics, which I was not expecting to have a problem with, to be honest. And the dice in this are very nice. I don't have a problem with the dice. But as you are playing and as you are filling in the board, it becomes harder to see what you have circled and what you have not. And I tried a bunch of different variations of how to mark things on the board so that that would not be an issue, you know? And the easiest thing I found is just to take a Sharpie through the flowers to really mark them off. I mean, to like erase them from view, basically. Because what they suggest, which is a line around the groups, as you saw in the overview, works till about halfway through the game. And then it's hard to see what's inside and what's outside the lines. Harder than it should be. You know, it's not going to, you're not going to make a mistake probably, but it's harder than it ought to be. I tried coloring in the center of the flower that doesn't really do it for visual disparity the, the kind of simplicity i'm looking for um i just don't like the look of the game it's not uh, appealing to me the grouping of things doesn't work it's not like you know crossing off a box that's apparent the flower uh pattern breaks the the uh the look of the game a little bit too much for me uh, replayability. I like they gave you different layouts, the A through E or whatever it is in the game. That's nice, different configurations. But the main issue with replayability here is just the absolute lack of originality. I feel like I've done all this before. Um, and it just doesn't inspire anything in me. You know, I, I the people I played with, same thing. It's just such a by-the-numbers roll and write that... It has no reason to exist, really. Um, that's my big one. You know, that's my main issue there. It's it's collecting colors and get, get it early. We've seen that ad nauseum. Uh, complete a group over here. We've seen that very much so. And in fact, this is extru very much like Nakamad, which is a very similar game. I mean, it's all the same stuff. That one looks better. Uh, it's a little bit longer, that game, but it's much more rewarding of a game than this one, I would say. There's just not a whole lot here that would make me pick this over just about ever any other roll and write game. The other things I have a problem with, um, tactics and strategy. There's very little room for clever play here, for engaging moments in the game. You look at the dice you've got, you pick the best thing that you can use right now. 
not not a ton of thought goes into that, which is fine. Again, most Roland rights are like that, but compound that with the other issues I've mentioned, and uh, there's very little here to recommend this one, honestly. Um, I'm glad that there are still Roland rights coming out, but this is one that feels quite forgettable at this point. Uh, if they had come out may maybe many years ago, I would say, oh, that's a clever concept. I like the way that works. As it is right now, there's nothing really to see here. You've, If you're someone who is already into Roll and Write games, you've probably played something very similar to this one here. So you can safely skip it. So there you go. That is Bloom. Thanks for checking this out, everybody. I will see you all on the next one. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com.